Hi you two, Miss Wilson here. I'm going to be doing your science lessons this half term and you will have a science lesson every Thursday on our new topic of living things. So we're going to be learning all about things that are living. We're going to learn what it means to be living and what we need to live. But today we're going to think about animals. Here's what we already know from the last half term. The first word that we learned was my turn, life cycle. The life cycle is the changes a living thing goes through in its life and we looked at how humans change within their lifetime. We start as babies, we turn into toddlers and then children, then teenagers, then adults or elderly and then the life cycle starts again. We also learnt the word my turn, offspring. Offspring. An offspring is a living thing's young. So for example, a human's baby is their offspring. Today, we are going to use our scientific skills to identify and classify, that's our science word for sort, animals and their offspring. Humans are not the only living thing that have offspring. Animals do too. I want you to have a think. Do we all look like our parents or other members of our family? What is the same or what is different? Have a think. You may notice that you have the same colour hair as your parents maybe. Or maybe you and your sibling have the same colour eyes. So you do look the same in some ways, but I'm sure you don't look exactly the same. Today we're going to think about that with animals. Do animals look like their parents? This short clip is going to show you some baby animals. Watch closely and see if you think they look like their parents. Some animals like snakes and some eggs. And this is a baby ostrich hatching. All animals produce young and all these look like smaller versions of the adult and they'll have to be cared for by their parents. This young ladybird doesn't look like its parent yet. This baby will turn into a butterfly. This tadpole will turn into a type of frog. And these babies will become flatfish. Some of those animals looked a little bit like their parents. Some of them didn't look anything like their parents. We're going to look at some cl look, look closer at some examples. So, in this case, the animal is the human, and we know their offspring is a baby. Now, they're the same in the sense that they both have legs and arms, hands and feet. Their bodies are the same, aren't they? A baby is just much, much smaller. And it can't do all the same things as a human, can it? This human's talking on the phone. A baby can't even hold a phone, let alone talk yet. So some things are the same and some things are different. A cat's offspring is called a kitten. What can you see the same and different about those? I think kittens just look like much smaller cats, don't they? They look very similar. An elephant's offspring is called a calf. What is the same and what is different about an elephant and a calf? They're slightly different colours, aren't they? And the calf's skin isn't quite as wrinkly. Did you also notice the calf doesn't have tusks yet? Elephants get them as they grow older. A horse's offspring is called a foal. They look very similar, don't they? A frog's offspring is called a tadpole. Wow, they look really different. What are some differences you can notice? Well done, is there anything the same? They ha both have eyes, don't they? And their skin is a similar colour. A butterfly's offspring is called a caterpillar. 
This is one of the most different looking offspring that we come across and we may look at it in closer detail later on in the year. I can't see much the same, can you? A swan's offspring is called a signet. That the k and the y are working together to make a signet. What is the same and what is different about a swan and a signet? Signets are much smaller, aren't they? They also have a different colour beak. The last one we're going to look at is a seal. A seal's offspring is called a pup. I love pups. Look how cute he is. What's the same and what's different about a seal and a pup? They've got the same features, haven't they? The pup just looks much smaller and it's got more, more of a furry layer on its skin. So your task today is going to be to match the animal and the offspring. I've created a Google slide where you will see some pictures of animals and pictures of offspring. You need to write them in your book by drawing a line down the middle and giving a heading animal and a heading offspring. You need to identify the animal and the offspring and classify them into the right column. Your challenge is to use full sentences to describe what is the same and what is different about the animal and its offspring. I hope you enjoy looking at the different animals and their offspring.